Hi everyone. It's another day for us to learn and understand some basic knowledge about computer maintenance. But today we are going to be trying to understand some basic components on computer motherboard, basically um, a desktop, a PC motherboard, trying to identify some basic components, some parts in it, and maybe try to understand some of their functions. With me here, I'm having a Dell desktop motherboard. You can probably see with so many parts. But today we are going to be able to learn or try to be able to identify some various parts and basically understand their role or their function they play on the motherboard. We have several parts and all of them have different functions. Here we have the DIMM slot which is a RAM slot having about four RAM slots. You can see for yourself we have four RAM slots. On this one there are some PC port you will see about two RAM slots but this one we have four with the RAM And over here we have the CPU, CPU or sometimes some people call it the processor. Over here we have the CPU or the processor. When you remove the CPU, over here we have the CPU connector, we have the processor connector. And over here we have the graphic card, the graphic card connector, the PCI Express graphic card. We have different connectors here and over here we have the CMOS battery the CMOS battery which is used to save your configuration like your time and date and some of your BIOS configuration this one helps to save and over here we have the beep speaker not every motherboard you will see this on this one helps you to maybe identify some basic port on your PC like RAM ports, processor port you this one can help you to be able to diagnose it if you have a bad RAM, this one will give a beep sound. If you have a bad processor, this one will also definitely give a beep sound. And over here we have the power supply, the power supply connector, the 24 pin power supply. There are some motherboards you will see like 20 pin, 6 pin, all they are different. This one, will, this one is a 20 pin, 24 pin power supply connector. And over here we have the SATA connector. For your hard drive we have two here two here two sata connector for your hard drive and if you look behind you see some various outputs here this one is called the aux connect the aux output for sound for your sound we have the usb output the usb slot we have about four usb slot and over here we have another two usb slot and we have a LAN connector. This is a LAN port for your internet connection. Here we have the VGA connector for your output display and this one is a serial connector. This one for your display to connect your VGA. This one same. We have a connector for your printer, your printer connector, this one. And here we have HDMI, the HDMI connector. is safe as a display also as just like with VGA. Same with this. So these are all the outputs of your PC. You will see behind why there are some motherboards you will see in front as well. There are some motherboards you will see the connector here in front. Here we have the CPU fan connector. In every, in every motherboard you will always see the CPU. You will always see the CPU being connected to the CPU slot. And on every CPU slot, on every CPU, you will always see a heat sink, a heat sink, a heat sink of this nature. But some they are different because you will see there are some heat sink that you will see a fan on it, a system fan on it. But like on this one, the fan is not connected to this to the heat sink. It's been attached to the body or the chassis of the of the system. So. All are the same but just some different mechanism with them here right here we have a chip the north bridge and the south bridge chip all performing different functions and all this one we have capacitors all performing different functions so so far this is 
these are all the basic components you can be able to differentiate or you'll be able to identify on this motherboard there are some motherboard which you won't find all these components visible but all they have been all integrated but this one is much more better and clearer because we can see it while over here we have the 12 the 4 pin connector from the power supply which supplies which I mean, supply your processor your this is a table supply which supply your processor this one we have because on the power supply we have two basic output connector the main power supply and the 12 volt and we have other connector which supplies which supply your hard drive your hard drive and your cd rom so these are mainly the basic components you can find on any any pc motherboard you come across if you have any doubt, you have any question, you can ask on the comment section. And if you like the video, don't forget to share, don't forget to follow.